All right, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm pleased to present you with a not-so-first look at the new Serato Scratch Live version 2.0. Uh, yes, 2.0 is the long-awaited and highly anticipated milestone version of Scratch Live. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now, first thing to remember, this is a beta version. This is not final. There's going to be bugs, so don't use it at your gigs and all that good stuff, which I know everyone's going to do anyways, but uh, now Serato is even going to give you a big warning as soon as you start Scratch Live 2.0. Uh, warning, this beta should be treated as unstable. Do not use at your gig, only test the beta if you can afford to have the system fail on you in some way. So again, just keep that in mind. This is a beta version, this is not final. But with that in mind, let's get into it and take a look at some of the new things in Scratch Live 2.0. Now as soon as you open Scratch Live 2.0, the first thing you're probably going to notice is it looks a lot different. While it still retains the look of the older versions, you'll notice some of the things like the font has changed, the color is a lot different now, um, the buttons are more square instead of round, and it's just an overall GUI update in Scratch Live 2.0. Now I know things like the GUI are rather subjective and not everyone's going to like the change, but uh, give it some time and I think it'll grow on you. Uh, I like the new GUI, I think it uh, uh, looks pretty good. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the old version's GUI, uh, but, you know, 2.0, it's the milestone version, so it's time for a change, I think. Uh, so just give it some time, and I think it'll grow on you. Now, to go along with the new GUI changes and updates in 2.0, Serato have implemented uh, different viewing modes now in Scratch Live 2.0. And those are going to be enabled with these buttons up here in the upper left of the screen. Right now, we're in the uh, traditional vertical uh, view. If we click the one to the right of that, this will be the traditional horizontal view. Now this new one on the left is called library mode, and this mode uh, takes care of two things at, at once. Now for a long time, people have been wanting for a way to get rid of certain things in the Scratch Live interface, in particular the waveforms. Now I don't want to get into the discussion of, of, you know, the whole waveforms are cheating thing and whatnot, but, uh, you know, that's what a lot of people believe, and they uh, want to get rid of the waveforms for that specific reason. Well, enter the new library mode, uh, which is going to be enabled with this button right here. Uh, this button will get rid of all the waveforms on the screen, and you're basically just left with two decks with the track information, and that's it. Uh, so let me just uh, load up some tracks just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, so this is what it looks like right here. You just have two decks with the track information and the complete song overview waveform. But as you can see, you do not have the big uh, local waveform, uh, no beat matching waveform. Uh, the other point of the library mode, obviously, as you can see, is it expands the uh, viewable area of the uh, track listing. So you can see a lot more of your tracks. Uh, so this is good if you want to switch uh, to, uh, you know, to browse more of your tracks at one time when you're looking for your next song. Now, a little shortcut you can use is hit the spacebar key, and that will toggle between uh, whatever view you were in last and uh, the library mode. So hit your spacebar, and that will toggle between the library mode and whatever previous mode you were in before. So if you're in a, a traditional vertical, hit spacebar, it'll go to library mode, hit spacebar again, it'll uh, toggle back to vertical. So that's a quick way just to uh, expand the library size to see more of your tracks when you're looking for your next song to play. Now, the next new view is going to be on the very right, and this is going to be called stack mode. Now, stack mode is going to be pretty much like horizontal mode, but instead of having the decks on the left and the right, uh, it's going to stack them on top of one another like so. Now this stack mode is going to play an important part in uh, some of the other new features in Scratch Live 2.0. Uh, and that is going to be the third and fourth deck options, uh, which I'm going to get into in just a little bit. Uh, but for now, these are the new uh, GUI modes in Scratch Live 2.0. Again, we have the new library mode, or the old school mode as I like to call it. Uh, then we have your traditional vertical, your traditional horizontal, and the new stack mode. Now, to go along with the new uh, GUI viewing modes, Serato have also implemented new album art viewing modes for your crates. Now, in 1.9, you probably remember they implemented album artwork loaded to the side of the decks, which I don't have enabled right now, so let me go into the setup menu, uh, library, uh, where is that, display, show album artwork on deck. Uh, but that was a good start and all, but that was just a first taste of uh, future features to come. Now, finally, in Scratch Live 2.0, we get full browsable artwork in your crates. 
and that is going to be enabled with these buttons down here in the lower left of the interface under the track listing. Uh, this button on the very far left is just going to be uh, your text-only mode, the way it's always been in Scratch Live. Uh, this new column to the right of that is going to enable album artwork as a column in your crate. So let's click that, and this will, if you have the album artwork embedded in your songs, uh, it will display it as a uh, column in your crate. Uh, the album art size is also adjustable. That's rather uh, a little small for my taste. So if we go into the Setup menu, and on the Library tab, you're going to see uh, new sliders, font size, and album art size. Uh, so we can crank the album art size up a little bit, uh, or adjust it to your liking. So uh, that's a little better for me. I like it a little bigger than that. Uh, so this is album artwork as a column now. Uh, but Serato didn't stop there, and they had to take this feature one step further. This next new mode on the right is going to be grid mode, and this is going to lay all the album artwork in a grid-like fashion uh, in the uh, track listing area. So let's take a look at that. Uh, so this is good for uh, viewing multiple files at one time by their album artwork. Now, if you are an old-school vinyl DJ back in the day before times of Scratch Live and Tractor Scratch and Final Scratch, uh, whatever, uh, you know, vinyl-only DJs often remember tracks not necessarily by the artist or the song title, uh, but by how the album artwork cover looked like or the uh, sticker on the vinyl and stuff like that. So uh, this is good for a lot of you old school vinyl DJs and the visual type people that like to browse uh, for your tracks by the album artwork. Now the next new column after that is the same thing. It's another type of grid mode. It just flips it around. Uh, in this mode, the album artwork is on top and the text is below it. Uh, this one, the album artwork is to the left and the uh, text information is to the right. Uh, I prefer this mode myself. Uh, and this is my new favorite mode in Scratch Live 2.0. Uh, so again, yes, these are the new album art viewing modes in 2.0. Again, we have uh, just plain traditional uh, text only, no album artwork. Uh, album artwork as a column. Album artwork grid, uh, horizontal grid, and this is vertical grid. Uh, so these, these are the new album art viewing modes in Scratch Live 2.0. All right, moving along now, the next new feature in Scratch Live 2.0 is going to be 3-deck mixing. Now, unfortunately, 3-deck mixing is only going to be available if you have the SL3. If you have the SL1 or the TTM57, well, then you're SOL here, and you're only going to be stuck with 2 decks. Uh, so if you have the SL3, though, now you're going to have 3-deck option in Scratch Live 2.0. Now, the third deck is going to be enabled in the Setup menu on the Plugins tab. Uh, click on the SL3 Auxiliary Deck option, and you're going to see a lot more options now here in the Plugins tab, uh, which I'm going to get into in just a bit. And so the SL3 Aux Deck, click that, and you'll see the third deck uh, scope view pop up here. And let's exit out of the Setup menu. Now you may be wondering, all right, where's the third deck? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the third deck option is going to be only available for now in the Stack Mode. Uh, so here we go. If we go into the Stack Mode, uh, you'll see a third deck now under the second deck. And so let me just load a track up. I actually don't have three turntables or CDJs or anything like that, so um, I'm just going to have to play them in internal mode. Uh, so, uh, doo -doo, let me get that going. Uh, I also forgot to mention, in the stack mode, if you click this little downward pointing triangle, uh, that will expand uh, the panel column, and you'll be able to see all your cue points and your auto loop controls and whatnot. And let me get the third deck fired up. Uh, so there you go. Yes, this is uh, three deck mixing now in Scratch Live 2.0 if you have the SL3. Again, if you have the SL1 or the 57, then you're stuck with just two decks. Now, a fourth deck option is also available. However, that is only, only going to be available if you own the upcoming uh, and unreleased, as of now, Rain 68 mixer. Uh, they just uh, announced that and showed that at the NAMM show a couple weeks ago in Anaheim. Uh, the new Rain 4-channel uh, Serato Scratch Live Club Mixer is coming out in April. Uh, it's got a hefty price tag, though, of $2,599. So it's going to be rather expensive, and that is your only option uh, for 4-deck mixing in Scratch Live. Uh, the 4th deck will just be under the 3rd deck. Uh, uh, but anyway, so yeah, that's the new Rain Mixer coming out in April. Uh, four decks in Scratch Live. If you have the SL3, you get three decks, and if you have the SL1 or the 57, you only get two decks, unfortunately. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, so uh, upgrade to that SL3 is all I can tell you. Uh, but anyways, so yes, this is the new three-deck mixing option in Scratch Live 2.0 if you have the SL3.